ONET is a comprehensive, easy-to-use database for occupational and career-based research. ONET gathers its information from government institutes, such as the Bureau of Labor and Statistics and the Department of Labor. If you ever have a question about using ONET, be sure to visit ONET's help page. I'm going to look at ONET's overview so that you can see briefly what ONET's content model resembles. ONET operates under the belief that every occupation requires a different mix of knowledge, skills, and abilities and is performed using a variety of activities and tasks. As a result, every occupation cataloged on ONET is broken down into what types of knowledge, skills, and abilities you need to function well in that career and also what the activities and tasks of that career or occupation would be. You can use ONET to conduct a variety of searches. If you are interested in learning more information about an occupation, let's say for example you teach a vocational specific course such as welding, nursing, medical assisting, you can go to Occupation Quick Search and type one or two words that relate to the career or occupation that you are interested in learning more about and you will be routed to a list of possible matches for the career that you were researching. I typed in nurse and you'll notice that the 100% relevant score for me is informatics nurse specialists. You'll notice that there's a sunshine ball with the term bright outlook right here. That indicates that within the next six to eight years there will be several new job openings in the field of nurse informatics. Let's say for example we were researching a career that does not have a bright outlook such as telephone operator. If you notice there is no sunshine ball or the word bright outlook here, when I click on information or a specific occupation, you'll see that that occupation lists out the tasks, knowledge, skills, abilities, activities, and much, much more. One of the most useful pieces of information for your students might be how much education they need to work in that field, but also the job outlook. Projected growth at the national level indicates that telephone operators will decline rapidly there will be a 10% deduction in all occupations in this field over the next six to eight years. That means that this may not be the best time to start a career as a telephone operator. Because ONET breaks down its information by tasks, tools and technology, knowledge, skills, abilities, even interests, education, work values, wages, and additional information, you can use a search like this to determine whether or not your course goals align with that particular career's expectations. For instance, if you are teaching welding, are you teaching it in a way that emphasizes safety equipment and how to operate them? Or are you emphasizing how to recognize, set up, and operate hand and power tools? Are you making sure that design is one of the things that occurs inside your course. By doing this, you will assist students in articulating to future employers precisely what they learn from you and why what they learn from you will be relevant to their future employer. To use ONET to find research and terms that may relate to your non-vocational courses, such as general education courses or electives, you can do an advanced search. By doing an advanced search, you can look at abilities, interests, and skills and find occupations that relate to a specific course that way. This may be a tool that your students find useful after leaving your course, particularly if your course objectives reflect some of the terms that they would see in ONET. They can then use your course's objectives to determine a future career path. But we're interested in helping you align your course objectives and goals to the types of jargon that employers will expect to see or that employers may use in their job descriptions. And there are two specific areas that you may want to look at under advanced search. Tools and technology, because currently technology is emphasized on the majority of job descriptions, particularly technology related to social networking and collaborative software. And of course, skill search. By selecting skill search, your students would be able to click on any of these skills and match those skills to potential careers. 
that relate to skills that they possess, potentially skills that they learned in your class. By helping students to articulate this, pulling skills specifically from a list like this, they will have an easier time transferring or translating the skills that they learned from you into employment specific skills or what we call transferable skills. Those are skills that you learn in one category of your life that apply to another. For example, if you are a mother with four children and all of them have different athletic schedules, you have the skill of time management and that can be applicable if you're applying for a position as project manager. If you are in a literature class, you are learning how to, for example, recognize patterns within the broader context of a scenario or an experience or situation. Recognizing those patterns could be a transferable skill if you were, for instance, in the healthcare field, in a situation where you need to recognize the patterns of a patient to see that those patterns are representative of a possible disease. By reflecting the skills that you find in the skills search, in your course objectives, you'll make the process of transferable skill articulation easier for your students.